Hi there guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm gonna be showing you in easy steps how to make these Noble Lady Seed Beads earrings. Subscribe with the bell, also like, share and comment. In this way you give me signals that you like my work and you want me to continue with it. Don't forget that there is also a matching bracelet and you could make yourself a great set. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. So what I'm using guys for this video are three colors of 11 ohm seed beads, iris, white and golden. I'm also using golden earring findings. This is Nyman Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 or 12 as well. And these are scissors. Now I'm going to take about four feet of thread on my needle, which is about 1.2 meters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up four of those beautiful iris beads. I'm going to slide those down. And here I will make a knot in the familiar way. Just make a loop and go twice through the loop I've made. I'm showing it slowly on purpose just to see what I'm doing. And now I make another knot here. Now I have this beautiful cross of four beads. I'm going in the iris bead after that. Take one white bead and go in the next iris repeat until the end of this row and in my last step I'm going through the iris and after that through the following white bead. Take three golden beads, go back through the white two white, go in the following white, three golden, then again two white, three golden and go backwards through this bead. You see what I have here, a loop between the white bead and the goldens. Then two white beads. Go in the white. Three golden beads. And go through this white. And in my last step I need two white beads and go in the following white and when I pull like this everything goes to its place. Next two white beads, one golden, golden and two white beads, one golden, go back through the two whites and after that I also went through the golden just to save time. Now my goal is to exit out of the next two white beads, okay, after the second white. Take one golden, go backwards through the two white and through the following golden if you can in one movement. And with this step guys here, I'm finishing the first element that I'm gonna be repeating until the end of this project. 
now I will take my scissors and I will cut this tail thread. After that, I want to exit through one of these golden beads at the side that I added last. And from here on, guys, I'm going to start another element. Okay, I take two white beads, go back through this golden. And after that, I go back through these two whites again. And when I pull, I have this. Take another one. Pull. Go in this bit. Three iris beads go back through this one now you should reinforce one white go in the next one now what i'm doing guys is that i'm doing the same element but the other way around if it's confusing for you, just follow the steps and everything will be okay. And I will continue absolutely the same way. Three golden beads go back through this white two white beads add three golden two white three golden Two white, three golden, now you see what I have, I'm going to flip like this, to turn my work like this, because it's easier for me, then I directly go through these two white beads that are on my way. After that, guys, I go in this direction and I want to exit through the following two whites. I add one golden, go back here. Turn it in this direction. Then I take just one golden. Go back here. And one more golden. Okay. Now, guys, I have these beautiful two elements next to each other. And I will go here in this golden. And what I'm going to do is repeat absolutely the same steps that I showed you here. I will show them faster this time. Okay. Two white beads.
Okay, guys, and now what I want to do is go through these last two bits and make them stay in a better shape. Just go through them and then go in the next few bits. Okay, and pull. Okay, and I continue the same way, guys. Okay, my friends, and now make another element like this one starting from here. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video from here and repeat these steps, but here. And uh, when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and absolutely the same way I made another element like this one. And here I am at my last step where I need to add my last golden bead. But I'm not adding a new golden bead. Uh, I will be using this one from the previous element because you, my elements touch each other and they share some beads. That is why here at the last step I'm not adding another golden but just going through the golden that is already there from my previous element. Okay? This is the only difference here at the last step. Now, what I want to do is reach here this point. And how I do this, I go in this direction. Then here in this white bit. And as I said, my goal is to exit here through one of those golden beads. I take one iris bead and go in the next golden that is sticking out, the central of the tree, another iris, go here in the following, and two more times Now I want to reinforce now. What I want to do is to exit here at the edge and add additional beads here. How I do this, I should reposition my thread. And my goal, guys, is to exit here out of this golden bead, but from this side to this side, not the other. Not like this, but from here. That is why I was going around like this. And uh, now I want to add one iris bead here.
okay now continue here around the edge and up one bit here and one bit here and i'll be back okay and i'm adding here my last bit from this row and now guys what i want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread by the way if you like your earring uh, you could finish it like this just add here an earring finding and finish it but i want to add an additional element before i finish it okay and first in order to do this i will make here a loop and a knot then i will go through some beads in this direction and i'm going to cut this tail thread okay now guys what i'm going to do is to take 30 centimeters or one feet of thread on my needle and i will make just one of those elements and i'll be back okay guys and i need to show you how i'm making this element first part with the cross it's obvious so i'm not showing in in details and what i need to do after that is like before add white beads everywhere then obviously go and start adding the golden beads okay guys and uh, here i want to pay attention at just two goldens instead of three at the last step of your element you will see why i'm doing this later just i want to stress out that there is a different step here of adding only two golden beads from this side and i will add the other goldens at the two whites absolutely the same way through these goldens here but in order to add the last golden I'm coming here like this okay then in my next step guys I want to go here in the neighbor bit then go in this white and my goal is to exit out of this golden one meanwhile i'm going to cut this tail thread okay exiting one of the two goldens that i added instead of three now i will take this bigger element here and what i want to do is to go with my needle as i'm exiting through one of those two goldens through this golden that is sticking out then i go like this and i want to reinforce this joint by going one more time through it Okay. 
Now I want to exit here at this golden bit. Now I'm taking an iris earring finding and an iris. And I'm going around this joint here. Okay, reinforce it. And now it's time to make a knot and cut my thread. Going twice through the knot I've made. Going through a bit in this direction. And cutting this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my noble lady sea beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way you will know when I make new tutorials and you will be inspired often. Please like, share and comment. In this way you give me signals to continue with my work. Check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. And a lot of work goes in this video, so you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.